This can is filled with a forensic spray, which for the first time is being used to stop domestic violence. To show how it works, I volunteered to be sprayed with it. You can't see it with the naked eye, but switch on the UV lights and you'll see I've been marked. For years, this substance has been used to protect property and deter thieves. But now, for the first time, it's been used to convict someone for harassment. A man in Wakefield, West Yorkshire, has been jailed for breaching his non-molestation order. He'd been told to stay away from his ex-partner and her house. So when he turned up, she sprayed him with the solution. Three police forces in England have been giving these canisters filled with the smart water to victims of domestic abuse, harassment and stalking. And if it's sprayed on a person, then it can put them exactly at the scene of a crime. Each batch of the liquid has a unique formulation. At this lab in Telford, they mix together different chemical elements. And there's more than a billion possible combinations. The technicians can analyse the tiniest of samples, so from just one drop of the stuff, they can tell exactly which bottle it came from. Well, I mean, I can't tell you the secret source to smart water, but what I can tell you is that it's made up of a combination of rare elements that would never be found naturally anywhere else in the world. Each batch is unique. We know that categorically um, that smart water was registered to that person and can be linked back to the scene of the crime. Over 200 women across the UK now have smart water in their homes, and the majority of them are telling the police that they feel safer as a result of having the tool. They're also saying that their perpetrators are not visiting them anymore. The victims say that they can go out to work and just have peace of mind. Currently, West Yorkshire, South Yorkshire and Staffordshire police forces are using the tech as part of their domestic violence strategy. But it's thought that forensic marking will be trialled by other forces across the country too in the hope of securing more convictions and deterring more crimes. Shona McCallum, BBC News, Wakefield.